Hello and welcome to a special report on a peculiar kraken discovered during the course of a solar system tourism live stream in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 with realism overhaul. The following was recorded fairly late in the live stream which probably had a part to play in what happened. As you can see I was putting together a rocket to test an idea I had which I will explain in a forthcoming video. For now all you need to know is that the parts involved had all been used before and I had no reason to suspect that anything odd would occur. Then this happened. Uh-oh. It's shit. Oh, wow, 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 no! It's the right pad! Um... Darn it, there was- oh. It's splashed down. But that's not the Kraken I'm here to report on. That's actually a very typical rapid unplanned disassembly in Kerbal Space Program, as I'm sure you'll all agree. I tested the payload on its own and it was fine. I made changes to the SLS launcher to try to fix the problem, but got largely the same result. Ultimately, a restart to the game solved the problem, but not before I tried to put a somewhat modified payload on a Saturn V instead, and a brand new Kraken appeared. Oh god. Okay guys. I'm just having a day. Guys. There's something wrong. Hold on. They can't... There's no cheats. What is even happening to the save now? I understand- I understood the explosions much more than I understand this. What is- Guys? I don't even dare turn away. Hold on, what's F5 say? F1 crashed into launch pad, which I also don't get. We- I'm not gonna launch it. First of all, I wanna know what happens. It was literally just one part. But maybe it's just- then it, maybe it's my part. And that's sad. But then we've used that part before. What part could it be otherwise? Oh, we, need, we didn't even put a controller on the- Well, I think there's a controller in here though. Right? No, it's mech jib. It's still going up. I don't know. It turns out that I didn't need to use the monument launcher to launch a Saturn V after all. Who knew? We're gaining surface horizontal speed, guys. Fizz warp? Now we're going down. Uh, I probably... Fizz warp hastened it going down. Okay, what happens when we... Let's... let's uh... Make sure we're pointed in the right direction vaguely. Ignition? With one engine. Do we need to release the launch clamps? What do you think will happen when I release the launch clamps? Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, well, I, I think that's done for. Yeah, four engines got destroyed before, so... Oh, no. It just... That was a once-in-a-lifetime floaty Saturn V, guys. But as it turns out, that was not the only appearance of the floaty Saturn V. In fact, it would have an even more perfect incarnation. Oh god. Guys! It's doing the floaty thing! 
But it's got all its engines this time. But it's constant. It's just going up at a constant 6.5 meters per second. Okay, just verify. There's no cheats. There's no cheats. I didn't even need the monument launcher. I mean, what even is the point? Okay, I am going to test what happens when we do Fizz Warp. Fizz Warp reduces the vertical speed into half, but then we're going double 2x. So it ends up being the same per real time. So no matter what time warp I pick, it's ascending at the same speed relative to real time. So there's no point in fizz warping. Clamps and all, yeah. So I mean, eventually we'll get to 100 kilometers. We'll eventually get out of the atmosphere. Our speed seems to be pretty constant. I just wanted to send supplies to the moon. Okay, well, we have to test what happens next um, if we light the engines and everything. So, ignition. Throttle up. It only marginally increases our speed. Launch clamps. I guess we have a real start. Clamps are the culprit. Well. Let's see what happens when we shut down the engine. Because I'm not going to run with this, obviously. It is going down. Well, you know what? We'll take off the launch clamps. Alright, let's see what happens. It's shaking. It hasn't exploded or floated away yet though. It's just shaking. Which might be normal considering it doesn't have the launch clamps. But I feel like it's not normal. We did things maneuvers have been done properly but since then it's wait wait guys <laughs> it found, it's bouncing it's bouncing i don't know it just needs a restart or we need to restore an older save or something it might be that we'll lose what we did in this stream or something I don't know no oh 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 it's gonna it's tilting ah, I lost it there you have it the floating Saturn V Kraken the fact that this miracle occurred on Easter Sunday was not lost on me. I will let you decide upon the spiritual significance. Unfortunately, the last incarnation of the Floating Saturn V Kraken was a bit of a dud. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.